Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is about a tool called Life Timely. I came across this tool through a client and I honestly love it. Why? Because it provides you with a lot of information that platforms like Shopify don't. So I will give you a few examples, but I just wanted to do some disclaimer first. I'm not affiliated to this tool at all. I just love getting more insights for the clients we work with. So I hope this is useful for you as well. So let's get started. I told you I love this tool, but it, it's not because of this report. This report is great. Don't get me wrong, but there are some others I'm going to show you in a minute that I love way more. This is great for a high level overview. You see the total sales, marketing costs, COGS, and net profits. And you have a breakdown here. That's amazing. But hey, look at this report. I know it sounds familiar, doesn't it? It's the cohorts report you see on Shopify, but it has way more metrics to analyze and it's more thorough. So. On Shopify, you have like the retention rate, average short value, total uh, accumulated sales per customer, but you don't have the accumulated sales per customer divided the CAC. So the CAC to total sales per customer ratio, which is great. You don't have the customers who purchased, I don't know, twice, three times or, or more. And there are more breakdowns. And this is great. But hey, look at this. The historical LTV average. So this is awesome. When I onboarded this client and asked them about the LTV, I was expecting more or less the same answer I get from all the new clients. Well, I don't know. I think it's around X. This client gave me the exact figure and I was like, okay, how did you do that? Where did you get that from? So they presented me with this tool and from that moment on, I started loving it. So you can have an accurate figure for the LTV and you have a whole section for the LTV drivers as well. I guess you need to pay more for that one, but otherwise you have the LTV right here and that's great and more than many other uh, merchants have. And you can even break down the LTV by product. So, or product type or variant or discount code or order tag and customer tag country, you can, you can actually know many things related to the LTV, not just a figure. Are you loving it as I am too? So this is great, but hey, that's not all. You have this customer's behavior menu right here. Let's check it out. We have the product journey chart or yeah, section, let's say. What do we have here? We have the products customers buy over time in the first, second, third, fourth order, and so on. How cool is that? We don't have that on Shopify. Sure, we have um, the, the orders, but we don't have a report showing you what they buy over time, as you can see here. So look at how easy it is to identify the patterns and the trends here. So let's see. For this period of time, which you can filter and choose, you know that those who buy everywhere cami or the bamboo flow pan for the, in, on the first order, they will buy these other products in the second one. And you have multiple paths. Like, of course, many people bought, or most people who bought this on the first order bought one of the same in the second one and on the third one, but they also bought um, uh, a pant. And those who bought a pant bought another one. But hey, those who bought this pant, a different variation of from this one, bought another ver variation of pants or even, uh, I don't know, um, let me show you like this, the bamboo essential pant, people bought the weight pant or bought another pant or a tank. So this is pretty cool. And if you hover this, you can actually see that it says often purchased with. So whenever someone buys this product, you know that it's often purchased with these other products too. Do you have that on Shopify? Yes and no. You have the cart report, but you cannot choose a time period. 
you cannot filter by product or product type. You can only see what Shopify shows you right there and typically shows you probably 10, five to 10 um, combinations. When they add to cart a, product A, they also add a B, but nothing else. Here you have a lot of information and that's not it. You can zoom in and actually see way more path, like little path from one product to the other between orders. And if you filter by product type, this is really interesting because you can identify patterns more easily and say, hey, whenever someone buys a pen on the first order, they end up buying another one on the second one. How cool is that? And a small percentage buy tank tops or bras. So that's interesting. So people who buy tank tops on the first one, a lot of them end up buying pants on the second one or more tank tops. And the same with bras. Most people who buy bras on the first one will end up buying bras. So this is great because you can apply these to your in-store app sales or cross sales. You can use it to build bundles or for your post-purchase app sales, whether it's on the same store or on the email marketing or any other channel, right? So this is great, great information. And then something else that I always ask clients and we do more manually when we do the uh, analysis periodically for our clients on the time between orders. Typically, this is another taboo. How many orders do they make a year and what's the time between each of them? So this is a way to accurately um, answer it. So you have the cumulative percentage of orders, of repeat orders over time. So you can know that, I don't know, 47% of people in this time period, of course, buy between the first 30 days. And you can see that, I don't know, 95% of people buy between, uh, or let's do the following, like 67% of people buy between the first 60 days right? So this is great. It's like, hey, this most people are buying between the first 60 days and then the trend decreases. What can we do for the customer win back flows uh, on the email side of things? What can we do for the communication? So you can do that for the first to second order. You can do it for all repeat orders or for the second to third or third to fourth order. This is great. And then last but not least, you can see the repeat, uh, the repurchase rate breakdown by product, right? Again, you can choose the repurchase windows in days, or you can filter as well by date, and you can filter by product or product type, and you can see a lot of valuable information for your merchant. These, my friends, for me at least, and for my agency and my clients, is gold because it's information that we can't find on Shopify. Most of the if most of the information we can't find there, we can find many other great pieces of information, but not this one. So I hope you like it. And hey, if you think that you need help with the with managing the strategy for your e-commerce and growing to the next level. This is how it's done. It's not by creating ads or optimizing something on the ad account or email side of things. It's by first understanding what your customer purchase journey is about. How many times per year do they buy the LTV, the CAC to LTV ratio, which products they buy first, second, third, etc. What offers to put together to design a value ladder that works and then and only then applying that to every single channel. So if you think that you need help with that, please reach out to us at hello at bsrdigital.com. You can find that in the comments and we'll be happy to set up a call and see if we are fit to help you, okay? Thank you.